Do you know how to use saline solution on the nose? Do you have to wash your nose every day? What is better, the spray or the syringe? Hi, I'm Mylene, doctor and otolaryngologist. In today's video, I will explain the types, the methods that exist to do the nose wash. What is the difference between them? But first, subscribe here on the channel, activate the bell to follow the channel ENT at home, receive our videos every week. Our purpose here is, in addition to giving you information, to give you quality of life. We, otolaryngologists, always talk to the patient that, just like you brush your teeth every day, we should all wash our noses every day. But why don't most people wash their noses? Why don't they have this habit? Why do they think that nasal washing should be done only when they are sick? Or when they have a serious cold or after surgery? This is wrong. Washing your nose every day in people of all ages is very important. To avoid most infections, rhinitis, improve rhinosinusitis, to prevent nose bleeding, the serum removes impurities that constantly enter our nose, in addition to helping to relieve our breathing. Inside our nose, we have very small, very microscopic structures, which are the eyelashes. They move all the time. They don't let the mucus, the secretion that contains dust, mold, viruses, bacteria, enter our lungs. These eyelashes help to throw the mucus out through our cough or when we swallow. Many people are too lazy to wash their noses, or they always forget. The ideal is to put serum in a place that is easy to visualize, for example, next to the toothbrush. Because then you will always associate brushing your teeth with washing your nose. Guys, nasal washing with oral soros doesn't drown, you won't choke, because we have a cough reflex. The oral soros doesn't increase the pressure, it doesn't give you ache, if you do it the right way. And what is the best method to use oral soros? Spray, syringe, bottle? To answer this, we need to ask a question. What is your goal when washing your nose? Yes, this is important. Because if you have an attacked rhinitis, a lot of flu, cold, with a lot of mucus, sinusitis, no doubt the best is washing with bottles or syringes. Because then they will wash more effectively, they take more amount of oral soros and will push this secretion. If you breathe well, your nose doesn't live very clogged, you have a sneeze or another, and slight bleeding in the nose due to a dryness, it is interesting to hydrate with gel spray or standard oral soros. It would be enough. We did a demonstration here of the various devices to wash the nose, devices with oral soros, to show you how they work inside. To represent the mucus of our nose, we put a sheet of paper and colored these sprays with methylene blue. In this example, the first bottle is standard oral soros. You can see that to reach a good amount of the nose, we need to put several times, squeeze the device several times, so that it comes out an adequate amount. In this case, we are demonstrating the gel spray, which we use many times for people who have a dry nose. You can see that the gel is denser and does not spread much on the nose. This other example is a strong jet physiological soro spray. As you can see, we need to put more pressure on the finger, and the jet comes out at a faster speed and concentrates in a place on the nose. In this other example, we have a jet spray, which is lighter than the strong jet. It spreads a little more and is more pleasant for most patients. Here is the syringe, our great ally, to be able to wash the nose with a more adequate volume, especially in the case of patients who have a lot of mucus and a lot of secretion. It is a more effective washing. The other case is the bottle, with a volume of 240 milliliters. It reaches a very important area of our nose. And just like the syringe, it is so effective to be able to remove a large amount of impurities. So, reviewing here, the standard jet physiological spray does not have the function of washing the nose, but only of a hydration. It does not reach the entire nose, only a part. So you have to squeeze, as I showed in the video, two, three, four times in each nostril to have an effective exit. Gel sprays have the function only of hydration, not cleaning. It focuses more on this region, more in front of the nose. It does not penetrate so much in the bottom. 
It is similar to the standard spray, but the difference is that it is in gel. So it stays longer in our mucous membranes. It is indicated in dry weather cases, especially in cases of patients who bleed a lot on the nose on a daily basis due to drying. The strong jet sprays have a larger volume, reaching more parts of the nose. It is recommended more in post-op cases, to help even in cleaning those crusts that remain. But they can be used daily for people who like and adapt to it. The continuous jet sprays have a lighter pressure. They are very interesting for children or those people who hate putting anything in their nose. So for those who never wash their nose or do not like it, this is an option for those who want to start having this habit. The syringes, as I said, are already excellent to really wash the nose. They are able to push a large amount of this secretion. The larger the volume of the syringe, you have available 20, 60 milliliters, but this cleaning function will happen. The bottles are one of the best devices to wash the nose. They are quite effective because they contain a large volume of serum, about 240 milliliters. They are able to sweep to mobilize all that secretion stuck without the need for any force or pressure. So did you see how many different types of devices there are to wash the nose? So answering the question, spray, syringe, bottle? To effectively wash the nose, we prefer high volume devices. For example, syringes, bottles, or cans. Sprays are more for cases of hydration of the nose mucosa or when you need to do a nasal hygiene outside the house. Since it is a more practical and faster thing to transport. A very important tip. Some people complain of irritation in the nose when they use mainly sprays. This can happen in some cases of some brands and devices that contain benzalkonic chloride. It is a preservative that has a bactericidal action. But depending on the amount used, it can paralyze the important eyelashes that we have in our nose. Responsible for fluidity, for the transport of secretion. And it can cause a burning sensation, burning, or drying. So be careful. And you? Do you wash your nose every day? Did you know that there are so many different physiological saline solution devices? Comment here which one you like the most, which one you are used to using. If you don't use it yet, let's start doing this daily nasal wash. Because it is very important for the health of your nose. Thank you for watching.